you're an OBE, which is very, very important to you. What was it like meeting the Queen? It was the best moment of my life. I mean, when you think, I lived in uh, a little place called Thato Heath, yeah, just yeah. outside of St. Challenge. Mm, not the best place and not the poshest place in the world, uh, but it was a great little place. And if somebody had said to me, a lad from St. Austin's, you are going to meet the Queen at Buckingham Palace and get awarded with a, a medal, I'd have said, yeah, no <laughs> chance. And to meet her was the greatest honour I've had. It was something special to go in the palace and, and, and she gives you your award and you, you bend down and, you know, your majesty. It's, you never, ever get that feeling, ever. Yeah. It was very, very special. Did you speak to her much? Did you say anything? I, I just, well, you know, I, normally I can't keep quiet anyway. Oh, so, <laughs> so I just, you know, we, she said to me, um, I'm going, to, I, are you going to Wembley this year? I said, she said, I said, uh, no, ma'am. She said, uh, I said, why? I said, well, we had your mum. Your mother was uh, presented us with, with a Challenge Cup. Yeah. So she said, well, will I get the chance? I said, uh, I don't think so, ma'am. <laughs> and uh, she said, I think I'm just past that date. <laughs> <laughs> so, but magnificent person. And I, I understand why people are proud of her. You were great friends with Matt Busby, Sir Matt Busby. Yeah, I was. And you took Bobby Charlton on the bus with you. Yeah, I to, did. To a game at Wembley. Tell us a bit about your relationship with Manchester United, with Sir Matt and um, with Sir Bobby. Well, I, like I said, we, I knocked about with Bobby. I took him to the rugby matches, you know, when he was at Warrington. Uh, I, and when he was at Lee, we, we went to the, And he got very interested in, in, in rugby league, you know, and uh, him and his brother Jackie, Jackie Charlton, <laughs> was, uh, it was absolutely great. And I, he said to me when we'd won the Challenge Cup at Wembley, Bobby, he couldn't believe we were walking out the dressing room and he said, where are you going now? I said, what do you mean, where we're going? I said, we're going for a pint. <laughs> so we're going, pub we've got. He said, are you not having a reception? I said, no, the lads are going for a pint. I said, they'll have the reception when they get back to Lee. And Bobby could not believe it that in football, they'd have like um, a reception. Well, they didn't have that in the league. <laughs> you know, we got back on the, in the pub, had a few pints and then went home. <laughs> and then next day, the big yeah. day. Um, one fascinating story is... Um, Cassius Clay, meeting him, and obviously, Muhammad Ali, Cassius Clay, one of the icons of world sport of all time, if not the icon of world sport of all time. What kind of a man was he? Oh, absolutely superb. What I liked about him, I'm a confident person, and he is an extraordinary confident person. But one thing about uh, these rugby league lads, if you do something to them, they want a little bit of kind of payback. And uh, we, we met him and uh, he, he was an absolute... Why, why did he come out? Why did you meet him? Because we, he, was, he was in the hotel where we were at and he, he was part of our, you know, somebody had arranged for him to talk to us. Yeah. And he was great. He was absolutely magnificent. But we had a lad called Cliff Watson. And... Uh, they tough get, they, Yeah, well, <laughs> very tough. Uh, very hard. A lovely lad, but... He'd come up from the south and started playing rugby league for St Helens. And they give Cash of Clay the ball. And he passed it. And he passed it to Cliff. But Cliff wasn't looking. He'd hit him on the back of the head. You know, and it actually nearly knocked him on the floor. And uh, Cliff turned round and he was so annoyed. He said, I'll tell you what, he said, me and you, six rounds. <laughs> I said, <laughs> Cliff, just forget about it. I said, why? I said, you lose this one as well. <laughs> So he wanted to fight Cassius Clay. Wow. You'd not believe I think, it. I think he got off lightly there. Well, let me put it this way, but that's what rugby league forwards were like. They wanted, they didn't fear anybody. So I couldn't believe it. I stood there. Not, not even Jim Mills. No, 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 no. He was, <laughs> he was the godfather. He just kept out of his way. 